How cool can libraries be in an area of iPods and Kindles? More than you think if you know where to go. 1. Central Library, Seattle, Washington, U.S. The Central Library in Seattle is sleek, modern and sophisticated and has tourists from around the world paying visits and taking tours. Yes, actual tours. In its first year, more than 2 million tourists visited the library, which was designed by Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas and American designer Joshua Ramos. The library was voted onto the American Institute of Architects' 150 favorite structures in the United States. Nevertheless, it has received mixed reviews over the years. Whatever the verdict, the building is an impressive work of art, shiny, abstract and unusual. The library holds various art exhibitions, book signings and other events throughout the year. The library offers free self-guided cell phone tours, along with group tours, to Trinity College Library, Dublin, Ireland Old, yes. Boring, no. The Trinity College Library in Dublin is the oldest library in Ireland, founded in 1592 by Queen Elizabeth I. Not only is the exterior impressive, it boasts the largest single-chamber library in the world, also known as the Long Room, which contains more than 200,000 of the library's oldest books. One of the most famous manuscripts is the Book of Kells, Turning Darkness into Light, which contains the four Gospels in Latin based on a Vulgate text written on vellum. The manuscript itself attracts more than 500,000 visitors a year. The Long Room House is one of the oldest harps in Ireland. Dating to the 15th century, the oak harp is the model for the emblem of Ireland. Queen Elizabeth II visited the library last year, the first monarch to do so since 1911. 3. Geisel Library, University of California, San Diego, U.S. Throwing some literature into inception. Named after Theodore Geisel, widely known as Dr. Seuss, San Diego's Geisel Library is one of the most modern library buildings in the world. At first glance, it looks like a spaceship. Architect William Pereira, who helped design actual space launch facilities at Cape Canaveral in Houston, Texas, designed the library in 1970. It has been featured in C5 films, short stories and novels. If you need a hint of which film, think of Leonardo DiCaprio, Dreams and a Lot of Snow. Yes, the snow fortress in the film Inception looks a lot like the Geisel Library. But of course, it's not just the exterior that's interesting. The library also hosts dinner in the library, which invites readers for cocktails, a silent auction and also a special speech from prominent authors for To Delft Library. The Netherlands where the Teletubbies may come to roam and read. The library at the Delft University of Technology was constructed in 1997 and has more than 862,000 books, 16,000 magazine subscriptions and its own museum. But it will only take a glance to be mesmerized, as it is a sight to remember. The building itself exists beneath the ground, so you can't really see the actual library. What makes it interesting is the roof, which is a grassy hill. A huge cone pierces the grass roof, which symbolizes technology. This gives more shape to the introverted reading rooms, according to the library. The roof covers 5,500 square meters. Construction of the roof posed several difficulties in terms of maintenance and leakage, but it has become one of the most striking and greenest both literally and environmentally structures in the area. Quick tip before you lie down on the grass. Beware the sprinklers. 5. Bibliotheku Alexandrina. Alexandria, Egypt The Bibliotheku Alexandrinu is the revival of the ancient Royal Library of Alexandria, which was the largest and most influential library in the Greek world. It was built by Alexander the Great some 2,300 years ago. The new library was reborn in 2002 on the shore of the Mediterranean Sea after 10 years of designing, planning and construction. The library was designed by
subscribe now.